Welcome to Mishnah study, Masechet Terumot, Perek Vav, Mishnah Aleph. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss if a person ate Teruma by mistake, right? So if he went ahead, he didn't know it was Teruma, right? Let's say he saw just, you know, some figs on the side and he didn't realize it was Teruma, he ate it. Right? What's the ramifications of it now? A person ate Teruma by mistake. Veshalem Kirin Bahomesh. He needs to pay back the principal and an additional fifth, right? So we know the Pasuk. Right, pasuk from Sefer Vayikra, ish ki uchal kodesh bishgaga. If a person eats something, you know, sanctified, of sanctity, kodesh, he eats it by mistake. Ve'asaf hamishito alav, he needs to pay back another fifth. Right. So if he, uh, I will explain, just point to point out, you know, that the fifth that he's paying, right? There's two ways we could look at this fifth. Right. Let's say a person ate. Uh, you know, a hundred dollars worth of figs. So how much does he have to pay back? So first the principal is paid a hundred plus another fifth. Now the fifth could say, oh, it's a fifth of the hundred. So you'd have to pay back 20, right? So you pay back a total of 120, but that's not the fifth that this Mishnah is talking about. We're talking about a fifth of the total once you add the fifth to it, right? So this would be 25, right? It ends up being a quarter of the total, right? So it has to be, you know, 25. Once you add the 25, so 25 is a fifth of 125. Right, it's what we call homish milibar. Right, this homish milegav, homish milibar. Right, so this is also similar for persons working on more well, from the business world. The person working on margins, right? They say I'm working on a 25% margin. Right, if a person is working on a, you know, uh, you know, or if a person is working on better, you know, say I'm working on a 20% margin. Right, because so we have fifth. A person working on a 20% margin, he bought something for a dollar, right, and he sells it for a dollar 25. Right, he worked on a 20% margin because he made 25 cents over the dollar 25. Right, so it's a similar idea over here. Person needs to pay back a fifth, right? So if it's a, you know, again, if it's a $800 worth of uh, figs, he needs to pay back 100 for the keren, for the principal, plus another fifth of the total, right, which comes up to another 25. So he pays 125 total. Ehad ha'ochel. Right, by the way, this is anytime we say a fifth in the Torah, a person needs to pay back a fifth. He's Kodesh, Truma, you know, a person, you know, steals, right? It, there's all these different laws when a person needs to pay back another Homesh. It's always speaking about a, a, a fifth of the total, which is really a quarter of what he took. So, right, that's just the point to remember for, the, uh, for everything that we learned. So now, if a person, so a person, you know, ate by mistake, if a person ate, or if he ate, if he drank, or if he anointed himself, any one of the three, right? He had oil, he drank olive oil, he anointed himself with olive oil. Even all these cases, still, right? He would need to pay back the keren and the homish, right? Where do we learn this from? The Pasuk says, and it's also in Sefer Barikrav, you shouldn't come to desecrate the Kodashim of B'nai Israel, right? And we mentioned before, right? We mentioned before a few times already that you're not allowed to eat over there in that parasha. You're not allowed to eat teruma. You can't eat the kodesh, right? And then it says, oh, and you can't desecrate it. So what's that coming to include? So in the Torah Kwanim, the Midrash Halacha says, it comes to include someone that anoints himself and someone that drinks that's also a soul, right? Now, by the way, we already know in general Right, it's interesting. We're learning from this pasuk, and Harabam points out, even though we know in general that shtia bichal achila. Right, we know that in general, when we say you can't eat something, we know that drinking is also included in that, and we learn this from the the pasuk in Devarim, right, when it talks about bringing things up, the you know, bringing things up. It says babakaru batzon bayayinu bashechar, right? It's talking about uh, cattle and uh, you know and sheep and wine and and uh, you know and, and shechar, right, uh, beer, right, all these things, and it says beachal tasham. Right? And you should eat it in front of, you know, in front of, in front of Hashem in the Beit HaMikdash. What do you mean you're eating? We just mentioned also uh, liquids. We went through wine and, uh, you know, and alcohol beverages. So, so what are we talking about? No. So you see that the language of eating also reflects back on, right, liquids. Right? So we know that in general. And similarly, sicha, when it comes to anointing, we know that it's, uh, it's you know, it's like as if it, it's, it's, it's as if it's absorbed into the goof and the pasuk, right, from Tehilim, kamayim bikirbo, uchshemen ba'atzmotav. Right? It's like liquid, right, with water within him and like like, a, like a oil on his, uh, you know, on his bones. Right? So we see also that the, the um, anointing is similar to drinking. Right? So we could have learned it from there as well. Right? But Hanabam says, we learn from Loyo Halu Kotcheb and Eisel. Interesting enough, it could be over here that he's learning a Deoraita, right? Because he's learning from the Pasuk of Loyo Halu Kotcheb and Eisel as opposed to 
right? The, either the Midrash al that's being Doresh, or for sure the Pasuk from Tehillim that's bringing the uh, Sicha, the anointing, similar to the uh, drinking, right? If you're learning from Lo Yohaluch or Chabani Israel, then it's all Doresh like that. Okay, this is a Had Tirumat Torah, if a person ate Tirumat Torah, or a Had Tirumat Temea, or if he ate Tirumat Temea, all these, Mishnah Chumsha, or Chomesh Chumsha, he needs to pay the Chomesh, right? The additional fifth. And let's say he ate the additional fifth, then he also has to pay a fifth on that fifth. Right, interesting. Veno Mishnah Tiruma, he can't go back and repay back from Tiruma. Um, why can't he repay back from Tiruma? Right. Well, by the way, why does he have, when we say he has to pay a fifth on the fifth, right? They actually do it for the Pasuk, but Hamishitav Yosef Alav. If to pay it back, it doesn't say Hamishito, it says Hamishitav, right? So it could be multiple fifths, right? So the cases we actually pay a fifth on the fifth. Um, right, Now, when we said a person is not, oh, cannot pay Tiruma, of course he can't pay Tiruma, right? He's not allowed to pay Tiruma because Tiruma is the Kohen. You can't pay back from the Kohen's money. You need to pay back. Right, you need to pay back your debts from something that you own. You can't pay your debts back from your friend's money, right? So therefore, he needs to pay back from Hulim, right? And he has to pay back from Hulim to Kanim. They have not seen Tiruma, right? You have to go ahead and set and pay it back from fixed Hulim, right? Meaning he separated the Tiruma from it already and the Masrot, and then you repay back uh, whatever the additional fifth, you know, the, the Keren, or the principal, and the fifth that you need to pay back. Right? right? They become Tiruma, right? Those Hulin that you pay back now uh, take on that status of, um, right? They're considered like Tiruma. And what you pay back is Tiruma, right? So this is, I don't know, what, what are we adding over here? We just said, what you're paying back needs to be from Tiruma, right? So Rabban points out, right? It, it, it takes on the status of Tiruma for all intents and purposes, right? It's considered miduma. Let's say this next item that you just separated, the holy that you separated, that you're going to give to the Kohen, got mixed in with something else. Okay, that's suffix Tiruma. That's miduma. It takes on all the laws of Tiruma. Let's say the Kohen says, ah, it's okay. You don't have to pay me back. Don't worry about it. I don't want that extra fifth. I don't need it. No, he's not allowed to be mohel, right? It's on you. Right, the mitzvah is on you to pay back. It's not for him to receive, you know, uh, you know, cash back for what was, you know, what was supposed to be his. The point is for you. You need to go ahead and uh, pay him back, and therefore the kohen is not allowed to be more.